So this area here, down this road, the next one and down, was all just one giant homeless camp, just end to end with vehicles. And the city was allowing it to be here, essentially. And uh, they have since decided not to allow it any longer and came in and cleaned uh, most of it all out. Now the people who um, have disabilities, uh, veteran status, a few other things, they were allowed to um, see they've even barricaded both ends of the road here to keep the general people out and allow some to stay. But uh, the ones with disabilities, veteran status, stuff like that were given a one week extension from when they cleaned everyone out. And then we had some massive wildfire smoke come through and just blocking the whole area. So they gave another two day extension. And I believe that makes midnight tonight the final deadline where they, uh, anything that's left here gets towed away and scrapped. So I thought, well, that's good. That was really nice and good after because that's what I had in my pocket when you pulled over. This is, my, this is the one I bought eight, eight or nine years ago. Uh, this guy takes his pride in February. But uh, I paid twelve thousand dollars for this thing originally. This is a. Uh, I'm the second owner. I bought it for the original owner. Who bought it in 1991. It's a 19, built 1990. So, so as far as last you've heard, it's midnight tonight is the deadline, and then tomorrow they'll be towing. Pretty much everything, everything else. Everything else that's here is now, going I away. A guy, there's a guy uh, that's been talking to me, helping me clean this out a little bit. He'd like to have this thing for the motor, the transmission, and the tires, and so forth. Yeah. And he says he's got a place where he can put it in Redmond if he has a way to tow it. And I said, well, yeah, I don't know, but I, that might be arranged. I don't know. That uh, is all of a sudden a big problem because my truck just uh, some major engine troubles yesterday. Really? Yep. Getting home from a job. Almost made it home. and. Lots of noises and no power, and I was able to limp it home. So we got to yeah, how quick that happens, did it? Yep, it was running great, and then all of a sudden, down it went. Luckily, I was only a couple miles from home. I was able to limp it home. So uh, later today, we're gonna we're gonna dig into that and see what it is. He said he checked the fuel filter and the fuel. They look clean. Got it, fired it up. He said just seemed to run just fine. So Redmond is where this can go. That's what he said. Yeah. As far as you know, like yeah, you got to make sure. But, see, do it. Sure. Why don't you get a hold of him and see if that's like a real option to do? And I'm going to dig into my truck today and see if I can scramble to figure out what's wrong with it. From what I, from what I understand, it, it is. Now, it's not his property that has permission to put it there. Okay. Okay. And, and that, that's the thing is, is it has to be somewhere that we have permission to put it. Yeah. That's then I, I and, well, and I, I, and obviously I have to have a running and, truck and to do it. I understand it. it's, it's some kind of a shop. Okay. Repair shop or something. But he has permission to put it there and, and, and we they tear it down. Okay. So. And you get anything out of that? He's going to buy it from you for the well, parts I, I, or I, I, for I, you, or it's. Give me something for you. If you give yeah. me something for it, it's better than getting nothing for it. It's like air conditioning unit. I paid twelve hundred dollars for it. But the lady had a guy take it off the roof, take it with her. I said, "Give you hundred dollars on your pay." It was just the third of next month, and she's been parked in front of me forever. Her, she always said, "Well, you're, the, you're my favorite. You're the only one that's clean like this, like I am." You know, we always kept we out here beating gear out of our hands over here. You know, and uh, anyway, and she she got real lucky. She found a place, fifteenth uh, and Remarket Road. Oh, all the way to Road, and you go that way. Yeah. Uh, but down to 15th, and then a little bit to the left. That is a private property, uh, outside of a lady's house, $600 a month, using water and electricity, and a place to park her 32 footer. So she's got water power, all that there? Yeah. But I said, hey, there's room, there's yeah. a, I think there's room for a 21 footer in there, too. She says, yeah, but they all want, they, they can only do one. Yeah. Said, that, that's yeah. a hard situation to find. Oh, yeah, it is. Jeez. Well, so that that's running good now. That one will start right up. Right okay, right perfect. You see, this one here's the one that's got the expired tags, and uh, you know. It's, well, you've got 30 days from when you bought it, and you've got yeah. the bill of sale showing the date. So you've got 30 days from that day to to deal with the tags. So they shouldn't give you any problems about the expired tags. Um, as long as keep that bill of sale handy. Yeah. Now what I was and then you're you're good there. Was, uh, Go to DMV 
and uh, a, a quality insurance company get at least one day's worth of insurance and then a movie permit for 10 bucks or so, as they say. Yeah. And then that way, hey, you pull me over here, at least I got a movie permit and I've got insurance, so don't be towing it off. For for this thing, um, well, what's it, what would it be to register it for, do a whole year, uh, or sorry, uh, well, registration, yeah, and insurance on it so that you're good. Well, I, I don't know, but whatever whatever it is, I'm willing to pay, you know. Uh, I, I can I can cover the insurance on this so you're insured and legal to drive. That way, okay. so I, I'll, I'll cover the insurance on this because if you get pulled over with no insurance or if you get a moving print to move it and they, they catch you more than once, then then it gets towed away yeah. and then you're you're out of luck again you know back in the same situation so i'll you you find out you call insurance and get insurance on this thing i'll pay it for you and we'll cover that uh yeah that's just a phone call away for me. yeah so so uh, that that's on your to-do list today is uh call to get insurance and and we've got that covered these tires actually look pretty good yeah they don't look too bad at all i don't see any dry rod or cracking in them you got tires like this i'd rather have you take that thing out of here and give me a hundred bucks for it than me then, then they get towed off and i get nothing for it yeah but the other guy wanted to take to redmond he also said look i got want the motor the transmission and the tires he said i'll get anything else out of the rest of it he's like i'll give you some more money than that but Right now, I said, you can feel these up with quite a bit, getting my stuff out of there. Yeah. And carrying it. And I said, you know, give me a couple hundred bucks because uh, you wouldn't have to get nothing for it. I, I, uh, I wish I could justify taking something. I really wish my truck was running right now because I'd go get it and tow this thing out of here for you today. Uh, would you because. Truck handle something like that? Oh, yeah, this, this is no problem. This got a plate right above the, the only... driver's door on the inside there. It shows the. Oh no! Th th this is no issue for my truck. That sixteen thousand pounds. Yeah, that that's no problem. Um, the the only problem is whether or not my truck runs. Yeah. <laughs> that's the issue, and and we're kind of on the deadline today. Or something, or? Yeah. So like like a. I don't know if it's another injector gone or something in the top end. Hopefully, just another injector. Yeah. Um, dang it! That timing sucks. Cause yeah, tonight's the deadline, so. Yeah, well, that was, it was supposed to be two days ago. Yeah, but they gave, they gave the extension. What about the air out here? Yeah, the air quality was so bad. Yeah, so they, they gave us two more days. That, but, so that would be midnight tonight, is yep. what that would mean. And so my thought on that was I just tried to, I got to find some place to put that motor home. So, so what are what are your needs right now? Like, like within these next couple of days, what are your biggest needs that you can't cover? I, 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 I don't have any. I, I, I pretty much, I, I take care of my own pretty much. I get 1660 bucks a month. I've got $600 in here now. And I get a 1660 on the third, which is a week That's now. Yeah, about a week, yeah. And, uh, and I'm not paying no rent. Okay. <laughs> that's, uh, that's a good point. Do you do you have any leads on place a space you could rent for that RV to park it? Like what what your neighbor here did? I I don't I don't I have not, not put, now, there are some places I mentioned where I put it in storage, but then I couldn't stay in it. Yes. Okay. Uh, so insurance what, what insurance is you need insurance. It's coming up right away. Is on the third. I happen to I happen to have a coin collection. I've cut it since I was a child. When I was a paper boy, silver, silver coins, mm -hmm. it's worth over two thousand uh, dollars. I took it to a pawn shop, and I, I, they loaned me thirteen hundred and twenty bucks on my silver coins, silver dollars, going back to eighteen hundred. That's due on the third, sixteen hundred bucks. So I have enough money to cover that. To get your coin collection get back. My coin collection back, and if I need to, that's and the beauty of that is. But you don't get paid till the third. Yeah, I get paid on the third. Direct deposit, boom. So that would basically be all that money you're getting on the third well, gone for that. Sixteen hundred that goes to that. And so it's so pretty good actually. And the easy thing about having the coins back is if I, if I do need any more money, I don't plan on taking it down for another thirteen hundred twenty dollar loan. But yeah. let's say I need five hundred bucks for something. Yeah. I take I take you know a few of those coins and take that here give me five hundred dollar loan. Not a problem. So that yeah. you could you could take that pawn shop that money anytime and get your coin collection back. Yeah. Well. My, my my budget right now shows say well, well i mean if you, know, you went so. down there today with the money you could get it back today yeah, 
the value they they pawned on it was just in the in the weight of the, the silver. That's usually what they do is, is they. Uh, so the actual true value of that collection is far more than what they right. loaned on it. I, I, I mean, well, obviously more than what they loaned on it, but yeah. like far more if you actually go by the individual coin. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. So yeah, we're not leaving it there. We're going to get it. Collector's price is worth a lot, you know. But I borrowed thirteen hundred and twenty dollars on it, and uh, according to the pawn ticket, it was just under sixteen hundred bucks. Uh, I said, you lose one ticket, it's an extra three bucks just to lose one ticket. I said, well, okay, well, cool. I've got, and, and it's, I always make sure that I've got it covered. I, I don't ever want to, because if I, if, if I were to sell the coins to them, they'd give me more than that, you know. Yeah, of course. But, but, but also, like, you, you're having it covered this time is, um, the, the day you're getting paid is the deadline for that. That's, uh, that's close, and if something comes up in between that you need to spend that pay money on, you're, well, well, what I do then, you're in I, trouble on that well, one. What I do then is I go out and get the coins out and put it right back in again. But basically with how that's going, yeah, before, you know, before you, your, your next pay, you're a paycheck behind, and that, yeah. that, that's what's stopping you from getting ahead, is you're a whole paycheck behind because you're... And, and, like you said, you're and, you're pawning this out to cover this pay period, and by the time you get your next check, it's got to get spent on what you've pawned here. Right. So you're you're always a paycheck behind. And, and it's, always more you, than, it's always more than a word. <laughs> yeah, 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 and you're you're paying an interest on that. Yeah. So by us covering this, so that you don't have to spend this paycheck on this, that puts you back to even on your on your paychecks. Oh, yeah. yeah, it does. And that that hopefully is a little bit of a step to start to be able to get ahead cuz you you'll never get ahead of it if you're always a whole paycheck behind right. and then paying an interest on this loan well, to like, cover like, that. Like a... So by us covering this here, it's an extra $300 a month in your pocket yeah. to use for, to use for other stuff. What one, one I was worried about them. One yeah, well it relieves that whole stressor off yeah. of you. But one, you're no longer a paycheck behind, yeah. and two, it's an extra three hundred dollars a month in your pocket right. because it's not being sent to uh, or spent on a um, on interest. interest. Yeah. Yes. So yeah, this is a hundred percent worth it to do. Well, I tell you though, because so th this is this is this is an investment here in you. Oh yeah. Think of it like that. For 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 us for us, this is an investment in you. So. Sixteen hundred dollars is what this is about to cost. Three hundred dollars a month. Uh, just a little, just shy of that. Well, we'll call it sixteen hundred. Yeah. Three hundred dollars a month. I'm not good enough with math to do this off the top of my head without that sixteenth calculator, real quick. So, a little over five months. In a little over five months, that three hundred dollars a month you're losing in interest every month is sixteen hundred dollars. Yeah, I would not. So, so with what you're doing with the pawning it to get the money, because you're always that that month behind. Every five months, you lose another paycheck. Yeah, Think I, about that. I never thought of it. Think way. about that. Every five months, way, you're losing a, of another money. paycheck, and that's well, going to put I'm you. Doing this, my bills are on time. I'm always on time on my bills. Yes, <laughs> for now. Yeah. But if you're losing three hundred dollars every month in doing that, every it's about five and a little over five months. You're losing a whole nother paycheck, and that puts you a whole nother month behind. Uh, yeah, so sure. think about it that way. Yeah, I don't know why. So by by yes, this is we're gonna go pay this for you, but that that's eliminating that that three hundred dollar a month loss. So in five months, that has paid itself back. Yeah. In in, in so this is a list of silver right here, including it took two. I have silver bracelets. I wear two of those right here, but there's a. Yeah, Benjamin's Pure 64 and up, 12 Eagles in one book, 12 piece top you know, it took 26 Morgans in this book, and this, 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 that's the whole list right there where all of it's in there. Okay, let's go get it. This is a, they were bidding at it like uh, 180 bucks. I said, there's like 50, it was over 50 silver dollars, and then there's like seven caps. What? For the silver dollars. Those run about 40 bucks though. What, what's your oldest one in there? The oldest one I have would be in here. Right there. 1891. 1891? Yeah, it's a beautiful condition. It's just beautiful. Yeah. So, and, and the, they're just giving you the value of the weight of the silver, not the yeah, value of the coin yeah, itself. Yeah, that's pretty much it. 
tag. There's one, two. Well, hopefully, hopefully, three, four. This five, gets six, you ahead because now you you don't have to use that next paycheck to get this out. Yeah. You can use it as needed for your your bills and stuff. And hopefully that can stay out because, like I said, every five months you're losing another paycheck doing that. So if you're getting by on that three hundred dollars a month less, if you're not doing that, just think of that. Oh yeah. How how, how long have you been doing that setup where you, you pawn this to get your paycheck covered and then pay it off and eat your next one? October of last year. Okay, so yeah, you're you're. <laughs> so, so uh, you've lost two whole paychecks, essentially, to the interest of it. Well, maybe, maybe not quite that, because this, this one here was thirteen twenty, the last loan I got, and I hadn't done that high. I was getting it was more like five six hundred. Okay, okay. Uh, but this last one was thirteen twenty. Because uh, I need, I need more than them. You know, like you say, you got to catch. It, it gets worse. You got to catch up. Worse. Yes, it'll get. So. And so, so, well, right there, it was five, six hundred dollars. But then that wasn't enough, and then you needed double that, essentially. Yeah, that's close. because <laughs> that's because you're losing money every it. time by doing yeah. that. Yeah. So, if you, hopefully, this can make it so you don't have to do that anymore. Yeah. And then now think of it the opposite. If, if that's what you've been doing, now now turn that around, and now every five months that you don't do that, you gained a paycheck. Yeah, but not that. Because you're getting that, that much more money every because, month. Because or every, it's yeah. something that I've had for all my, you know, all my, you know, since I was a kid. I mind you, it's a lot of quarters. And some of it I did sell, the quarters and dimes and stuff. But the silver dollars I've always kept. Uh, I don't know, man. I'll tell you, it's going to be a long time for those three to see a watch. I forget, I'll tell you. I, I hope they never do. Because I, I always get them out, and I'm, I luckily enjoy them for a week, and they end up back right back in there because I need the money again. But yeah, well, this time you didn't have to spend the money to get yeah. them out, so hopefully it breaks that cycle. Oh yeah, I've got, I've literally got sixteen hundred dollars in my budget now, that just got freed up. Yep. Uh, hopefully that jumps you back, because because you've essentially lost an entire paycheck, two paychecks from that. But, the interest yep. So hopefully that jumps you back ahead where you're you're solid again. Like you said, that, well, that that's going to be an extra that's going to be an extra three hundred dollars a month for you. Yeah, yeah. By not doing that by my, and by yeah. wife's house like that. That's to me that is a good investment. Uh, to me, I feel very good about making that investment because that's five months that investment pays well, itself yeah. back, and then it's all bonus from there. And, and, and for me, I always had because I know how long I've had these. Yeah, and I'm not part of it. You know. Yeah. I will. I will. I will do what I call my brother a pull rabbit out of my head. Whatever it takes to get <laughs> these things back. You know. Sometimes it's just a long, 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 Exactly. This is 18, 1881, 1881 O, S, 1882D. See, it was a CC. <coughs> I don't have any with a CC on them. Carson City. That's the, the mint mark. CC is mint mark. S, San Francisco. O, New Orleans. And it says D, that's Denver. But, uh, this is 1890 here, this is 1890 O. When you find the O at, you put it over. The little O right there. Right above between D and uh, the word D and O, the little O right there. That's the mint mark, says O. So when you flip it over here in the coin book here, it says 1890 with the O. That means New Orleans. That's the big New Orleans. It just said 1890, no mint mark. That's, this is here, no mint mark at all. That would be Philadelphia. So hopefully that breaks out of that cycle. Make some phone calls and figure out insurance for this and I'll cover the insurance on this too. Okay. And then um now this doesn't get I, very often or it's you all. still need it insured either yeah. way. Yeah. So 
figure out what this is going to take for insurance and then if if by some miracle this is still here after i had my i get my truck back going again and this can go to redmond we'll do that too so stay in touch let me know on this and i will let you know as soon as my truck is ready to go and if this is still here we'll get it out of here for you okay so like uh you probably heard in that timing could not be worse of yesterday on the way home from a job uh, my truck i don't know if it lost an injector or something else but uh, knocking in the top end and loss of power definitely running on five cylinders and not six so it's out for now and tonight at midnight is the deadline first thing to be out of here timing sucks because he did find somewhere for this to go where they'd at least pay him something for it for the parts in it and now I, I can't get it there for him so it's very frustrating on my end but uh, I found out he did have a coin collection he's had for many, many years sitting in a pawn shop. So we went and got the uh, coin collection out of the pawn shop. What he's been doing is he gets $1,600 a month um, for his, his uh, VA check. And he pawns that coin collection for $1,300 a month and then has to pay $1,600 to get it back out uh, every month. And that's because he's behind on paying for things. But doing that, he's losing $300 a month. So every five months, roughly, uh, there's a whole nother paycheck he's now missing. And that's just going to put him further and further behind. And I think I got that through to him. And by covering that for him, I think in, on top of getting it through to him, that eliminates that $300 deficit every month that he won't be losing a paycheck every five months. He'll now essentially be gaining one since he's used to doing that every month. So hopefully that's that boost that extra three hundred dollars a month getting out of that pawn cycle is that boost to like get ahead um from always running on your back foot behind we'll see but um like i said midnight tonight is the deadline and all of the trailers and rvs will still still here are getting towed off and scrapped i don't know how quick they're actually going to do it but you can see obviously that one it isn't going to go anywhere any of these that don't run um aren't gonna go anywhere the trailers that uh they don't have a way to tow they aren't going anywhere which means all that's gonna sit here and get scrapped the city did have bathrooms and uh dumpsters out here it's kind of a messed up deal even the ones that do run like like rodney and his, his new smaller rv He's got nowhere to put it, and, and even if they had somewhere to tow these ones off to, they've got nowhere legal to put them, so they've got nowhere to go with them, and then they're gonna, most of them end up getting scrapped, but uh, that's Rodney's older RV, that's his newer one. Like I said, hopefully, um, that little boost there helps him out. Uh, oh, his new one uh, is running good, it was the, um, uh it was crap in the fuel tank fuel filter clogged up carburetor clogged up so that all got flushed out uh new fuel filters carburetor rebuilt and tuned all up and now it's running really good and the best part of that is caesar that mechanic who i took it to who i told him i would cover it all he he covered it actually he, he did it all and he said no charge just wants to help him out so that left a little more money for me to help with some other stuff like this so we'll get his insurance covered so that if he gets pulled over He's covered it's not going to get impounded and lose that one too so. that's where we're at with all this and i again cannot thank you guys enough because this is you making it happen especially you patrons um this is this is you guys helping people like this i'm just the one out here doing the running around but you guys are the ones absolutely making it happen and i could not be more appreciative of that we're going to do great things with this it's going to keep growing we're going to help a lot more people and I am very, very excited about it. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you.